What is happening, gamers? Welcome back to K-Wings Let's Plays. How's everybody doing? We had company over today, so uh, that's why we're a little late, but we had a lot of fun and got to hang out with our friends, so that's cool. So uh, today is, believe it or not, another episode of Apollo Justice because you guys actually did it. I didn't believe it was possible, but you got 500 views in 24 hours. Um, so thank you. Uh, we get to do another episode. So just kind reminder, 1,000 views is required for another episode of Ace Attorney after uh, this stream. So um, I, I guess you guys are capable of it. You really like this, and we really appreciate it. And uh, we have a lot of fun doing this with you guys. So um, we're running late. We're going to jump right into the case. So let's get back to where we were. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, and you're ready for more Ace Attorney. So I just, you know, really wanted to give credit where credit's due, because without you guys, there would be no other episode. So uh, thank you. Really means a lot, because Amber and I are having fun with this, so thank you for the support. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I think this is it. Day two. And I have the last of the tea, and uh, I am going to be learning how to use a new type of computer, because we are retiring our old stream setup. Uh, this computer will just be used for editing um, and backup live streaming. Which means that Zelda will no longer be able to jump on the keyboard and uh, mess up our streams. <laughs> That's very nice, Justo. Uh, super chats do help. Thank you for the super chat. All right, so we're back inside the People's Park. Um, if I gave you more money, <laughs> will you make more episodes of this? That's very sweet. Let's, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm in indirectly, it does help there to be more episodes, because if you guys give super chats, then it'll be promoted more in the search engine, and then if it's promoted more in the search engine, it'll get a thousand views. Oh, this is, there's a lemon here. Oh, what? what I, had, you... I had a lemon pulp from my of tea. What? Of what? my the, tea. Is that from the teapot? The pot of tea that I had in mm -hmm. the fridge? Oh, that is Yeah, good. I, put a, good tea, I put a little bit of lemon in there. You know why? Because lemon is good for your throat, Luke. Mmm. Well, not too much lemon, because I have problems with that. I only put a tiny piece in. Okay. Um, actually, that tea is amazing. Yeah, like, I know. That I'm... tea tastes so good. I know, Luke. I went to culinary school. I can tell. Yeah, I know. And some of my teachers there said that I was actually doing really well. Mm-hmm. Which means that I did a good job. You brew better tea than I do. Holy cow. Unfortunately, I'm really good at many things. I'm good at music, art. Science, math, mm -hmm. um, literature, and even good at, well, I'm not good at tennis, but soccer. I have many talents. The only talent I don't have is making money and making friends and making a good life. I don't know how to actually do you normal to, things. You did really well entertaining our friends. So. Mm, I don't make good eye contact. Neither do I. This trash can! This is where we found the mirror! Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in there? Something near the bottom. Look at the paint on these. That means... These must have ended up in here after Mr. Wright's accident. Maybe they're connected. Let's pick them up! Yeah, but didn't you say you only had room for one item before? Okay, now conveniently she has room for another one. Okay. Um, how do we get inside the park? I'm terrible at eye contact, says Geo. That's okay, I'm no the clues same here. Geo. How do we get inside the park? Virtual Move. hugs. Thank you, Anna. Oh. This is my favorite series! There's more money! <laughs> Thank you, Justo. You're breathtaking. Thank you, Justo. That's very kind. Um, Alright, back to the People's Park. We like Ace Attorney, too. Huh? Did something about this scene look different to you? The blue tarps are gone. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Oh, this tea is so good. Stop it! <laughs> it's so good. Well, I can't make this tea. Well, okay. once you're 60 years old and you marry a 20-year-old girl who's completely, like, really good looking and I'm, I'm alone with my cats, then you'll miss me making tea for you. Why do you keep thinking I'm going to cheat on you? I'm in this for the long haul. You said only 80 years. That means I die. Oh. Right. right, that, works that out means okay. there's other ways for being free of marriage. Death is usually a big indication of like no longer being attached. Till death do us. <laughs> is that part. what you want me to write on your tombstone? I'm free. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Are right. you serious? Yeah. I think that's a great epitaph. Like, then people would stop and look, and it says, I'm free! <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frocked detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress, I guess. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. I mean, hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. Oh, Detective Sky. Hi. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is miserable, miserable. I just got a new kit and I can't get the stuff to work. Hmm, and everyone's all smiles for that glimmerous fop. Glimmerous? Why does she mean... Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? Uh, more to the point, doesn't she mean glamorous? Ah, when he walks his shiny chains catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes, it's distracting. Munch, 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 says, munch, munch, says munch, Says the girl munch, munch. eating. Speaking of distracting, hypocrite. <laughs> I guess I just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. Huh? Sounds like she's trying out some sort of new forensic technique. Okay. Uh, Detective Sky. All right. Not an option, Brandon, but also it's a joke, so... It's part. just a joke. Uh, Detective Sky. Okay, uh, Detective Sky, let's go. Uh, Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, right? How do you know my daddy? I want details. Ah, oh, well, uh, he helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague, especially in a case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now. Well, I failed the test. But, you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. Not really, Emma. I've always thought that, too. Yeah, well, you guys are kind of like, <laughs> wow, that doesn't really matter in the world. Um, and my heart is full of science. That's why I bought this kit through the mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. Okay, you know what? You guys are thinking positive. I'm going to go on this uh, positive vibe. We're going to go. Are you sure that's okay? Isn't that like messing with evidence? No, it's fine. Let her dream, Luke. You're keeping her from her dreams. I'm keeping her from committing a felony. It doesn't matter if she's a real forensic scientist or not. She feels like she's a real forensic scientist. Okay, yeah, That's her truth. I'm going to get you a policewoman's uniform and you can pretend to be a police officer. I would be amazing. That, I will pull explain, everyone over. Explain that story to the police when you get arrested. I will draw little hearts on everyone's ticket. No. You owe one million dollars for speeding. That's... No, with a little no, heart. No, that that's not how how much a speeding ticket is. Mm. That's that's extreme. Unless you get to put it in our bank account, then it's fine. Mm, I won't lie. I'm not fond of the man. Those glimmerous types always rub me the wrong way. Mm. Glamorous, right? Uh, a prosecutor should be cool of wit and furrowed a brow. Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know? Is she talking of Miles Edgeworth? No, actually I don't. Hmm. Well, that and what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. What? Really? He was the hmm. one? You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? Hmm. I never actually heard the details. 
Then investigate. It is better you learned it for yourself anyway. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're not... I mean... So Emma never passed her forensic scientist test? Then she's not really a forensic scientist. Right. She's a detective. Detectives can use hey. stuff. Oh, fun fact. I am an actual registered medical assistant, but I'm not a certified one because I would have had to take a test to be a certified one, but I am a registered one because I passed all my classes. Breathe, sweet pea. Breathe. So actually, if she passed all her classes, then she should be like a registered forensic scientist. Uh, Maybe she's just not certified. Did she take any classes? Um, did she not pass her school exam? I, I, I don't I don't know. Can I What classes did she take? How many years did she go to school? What school did she attend? Okay, okay. Do you mind me asking exactly what it is you've been doing here? Squatting down on the ground like that with your kit? Oh, you wanna know, do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't a police issue? Hmm. What is it? I see a roller and glue. This is a footprint analysis kit. True, true see? Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Ooh, like how they do with Sasquatch. This is fun. Huh. Oh, does that have anything to do with these blue tarps? Right, the ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing? Like your <laughs> panty snatching student witness, for instance? <laughs> Aha! So with that, kids! Right. What? Wanna try this stuff out? Huh? Are are you sure? I mean, we're sort of an opposing teams and all. Oh, pshaw! You're friends! And, to tell the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. You're not supposed to ask people for help if you're a forensic scientist. You have to be very, um, accurate and precise. Amber, you... it's, a, it's an Ace Attorney game. I oh. Mean, we've done oh. a lot of detective-oriented stuff over the years in this series. Oh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to use magic bunnies. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Then I should give it a go. All right, footprint machine. Oh, I get it, because she's using some kind of plaster mm -hmm. for the footprints, and paper mache is also used with plaster, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, right, here we go. The whole panties thing is kind of hilarious, says Justo. All right, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. Ahem, one moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit! Oh my gosh! Why does this not fill me with confidence? Hmm. First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print we want to analyze. I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe print should we start with? I think the green ones. Okay, we'll do the green ones. If first. we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Well, because that's where the the guy was standing, the witness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. It you won't can let do whatever me. you want. Shoe prints. Prepare to be examined. Oh, it's going to make us do the blue ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is exciting. Not really. It's going to be super annoying and long. I mean, you're going to have to do this throughout the game now. So. Right. Here goes first. Pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. Why is she doing it? She's not certified as a forensic scientist. How am I supposed to do that? You're not certified as a forensic scientist. Just press X where you want to pour the plaster. Or licensed. <laughs> like this. I don't think that we're qualified to do this. Mm, this doesn't look too hard, actually. Mm. If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, then you have to start completely over. Oh, that means you have to make sure that you don't run out of... I think I made it. Zelda, quit breaking things! Not bad. You're handier with that than you look. 
What's that supposed to mean? I spilled. It's not inside the lines. Wow, you messed up. How'd I mess up? I got the footprint. On to the next step. Oh, that's okay. That'll just be like a weird thing on the side of it. Um, dry the plaster until it turns white, right? Just press X to blast it with a hairdryer. I don't think this is real. You really use a hairdryer? Do forensic scientists bring a hairdryer with them? There, give it a shot. Wouldn't that blow the footprint all over and actually distort it? I don't think this would actually... I'm looking this up. Is this what forensic scientists use? Maybe in Japan. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, you don't know that for a fact. I'm gonna look it up. Looks like it's hard and nicely. Let's take a look. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. The ink? That could be anyone's shoe, though. Ready for the next step? Use the roller to ink. Just the shoe print part. Hold onto the roller tight, now with X, and roll it up and down. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. Like that? That looks terrible. You can't see the print at all. Fine. Right now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our print. How does that look terrible? I just did what they I told me to. I don't like how that looks. Mm. Ready? Here goes. I don't think this is going to work out. Okay, whatever. Seems to be fine to me. Oh, wow. You have gum on your shoe or something. Let's see if we get a match. Yeah, you have gum on your shoe. How would we have everyone's shoe print in the- Why would- Why would we have an- Why would we have a database of people's shoe prints randomly? Police? The police randomly made everyone take shoe prints when we weren't looking? And you take prints of everything in the crime scene. What? So the shoe prints belong to Waki Kataki, after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow! I can almost see the science at work! Don't you love it? Ah, nothing feels better. She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. Yes, I do. If she was really into science, she would have gotten her license. I'll be here solving the case with science, but completely unlicensed and unqualified. <laughs> Relax. Well, that certainly brightened her mood. All right. How do we do more? Although, I will say, she could be completely qualified, but just not have her license. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another go? Right on! Leave no print unanalyzed, I say. Alright. Hmm, now, to pick up which print you want to analyze. I guess we have to do that one. Whoa, somebody's wearing cowboy boots. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, oh my gosh, Luke, it's your dad. He was at the crime scene. Oops. Well, I don't know how he got at the crime scene, but I guess he was there. Okay, looking good. Next, dry the plaster. Yeah, drying the plaster. May as well do all these footprints now so we don't have to do it again later. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> That's what I always say. Might as well send out five million, um, you know, Christmas cards now, so I don't have to do it later. <laughs> okay, let's take out the mold! Alright, there we go. Mm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. I don't like doing this. I wouldn't want to be a forensic scientist. It looks boring. No offense, but offense. Right now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our prints. Ready? Here goes. Oh, wow. Oh, he had a nail in his boot. Yeah. Let's see if we get a match. Mm -hmm. Note to self, if I'm going to commit a crime, make sure I wear new shoes that do not have any uh, special marks on them. <clears throat> There we go. I mean, hopefully not coming to crime, though, first of all. Mm. So. Oh, so these prints belong to Wesley Stickler. This confirms his testimony, the final version of it, at least. 
Now we know where the Panty Snatcher was standing. Okay, I'd like to do one more. However, he wasn't doing it for weird reasons. He was trying to figure out the magic trick. Thank you for the highlighted message. J Dog, you're amazing. Member for 18 months. One year and six months of membership. You're breathtaking, J Dog. Says to the amazing K Wings. Clink of glasses. I will always love and cherish and support y'all. Virtual hugs, J Dog, you're breathtaking. We will always we will always care about and and um, and be praying for you and Fiona and and you also. Thank you so much. We love you back, J Dog. God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay, Amber. All right. I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. It's because I had coffee today. Tomorrow I, I won't not, have any I'm coffee. Try not to rock back and forth. Loki, when you you have exposed me. I'm not trying to expose you, but I almost, how else how else am I supposed to tell you you're making me you're walking the boat and making me nauseous? I don't do well with motion sickness. But I don't want anyone to know. You're very cute, but also making me dizzy. So, with my ADD, how am I supposed to express to you to please stop? Now, to pick which print you want to analyze. This is the, uh, the victim, probably. They don't even tell us how to do this anymore, because now we know how to do it. So they just leave me alone and let me do my own thing. Whoops! Okay, looking good, except for that weird nick over there where you missed it, and then that weird blob where you did it wrong. No, it's fine. I don't think so, but whatever. It's fine. Good enough, I guess. 75%. 69%. I'm gonna, F plus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have ways of letting you know I'm doing it too much. Um, okay, let's take out the mold. There we go. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. I wonder what kind of shoe this is gonna be. Probably the doctor. A doctor's loafer, maybe? Maybe. Right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take the print. Ready? Here goes! Wow, why would you... You have a leaf on your shoe. Huh? Huh? That's a funny shoe print. Is that even a shoe? It is strange. So smooth. Except... Except for the part with the leaf. Hmm. I can say that without even looking that this print doesn't match any print on our list. Huh? A mystery print. All right. It probably belongs to the girl. Which girl? Oh, the girl. The, the fiance. Oh, fiance, because it could be her sandals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girls have like nice little patterns on the bottom of their shoes. Guys don't. Oh, it could have a leaf on the bottom of her shoe as a pattern. Yeah. Well, then there are leaves all over the place. But... Or she could have stepped on a leaf. In fact, there's the print right there. You can see it in the picture, and there's another leaf right next mm. to it. Yeah, she could have stepped on a leaf. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though. That's certain. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Eldoon's noodle stand. D it doesn't make one wonder. I mean, it does make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden, um, uh, Apollo? I'm thinking. You wouldn't happen to have something in mind. Something that might have left this mystery shoe print. This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. I'm pretty sure I've seen something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have our culprit right here. Uh, wait, I do? The sandals. The sandals. Slippers for patience. Oh, hmm. Much, 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 much. You know what I'm eating? Um, snacks? More precisely, whenever I'm in a bad mood, 
I eat chocolate snackers. I had no idea. I think she means you picked the wrong evidence, Apollo. I had no idea. Wait, I guess I had the wrong... You picked the wrong evidence. Mm, I would have swore it was the shoe. Use a court record. Maybe we need more evidence. Because the only thing we have are these shoes. Oh, I didn't investigate the shoes. Bingo, there it is. The bottom is covered with paint! Huh? What's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom and the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. Mm -hmm. I got paint on my hand! Apollo! I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cape! Alright, there we go. So now we actually have... Yeah, don't get Trucy's cape dirty. Now I can present this, though. So we have to go through the talking Yeah, now you again. have to present it again. This print is far too smooth. Still, it does make one wonder, Hey you! Why are you so quiet? Something you have thinking about? You know, I think I might... Oh. Yeah, here it is. I think I might know the culprit. It is this. Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Hmm. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? But look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint, except for... See, right there. Hey! That spot is shaped like a leaf! Right. What if the leaf was stuck on the bottom and came off when the slipper stepped in the paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait! Something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic. Exactly. The Victim's Clinic. Wait! That means... That someone from the clinic was involved? Hmm... Why is she just standing there eating? Um, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. What? what Can you get access to the uh, clinic, please? The police the, will not let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. And it's off limits until we prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Uh, really? Well, you did work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favor. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Wait, she's actually works for the uh, police department? She's a detective. She's Don't you remember the green trench coat guy who she's, died? She's a detective, but she's not a real forensic scientist. She's the apprentice of the detective from all the Ace Attorney games who died in the last game. Oh, she's, so she is. A, she has a real job. I thought she was just paying herself. Uh, she's a very smart detective, but oh. she wanted to be a forensic scientist. Oh, so she's just doing forensic science work. Mm -mm. No, she's a detective. She's the lead detective. Okay. She's a very good detective, I but she wanted to be a forensic scientist because she loves forensic science. I understand. But she failed the forensic test, and so she got the lead detective position. Yeah, so she's doing a different job. I right. get it. She's basically carrying on the legacy of the police officer who was killed in the third game. I wonder if the leaf is involved in this crime, says Justo. Mm -hmm. Detective I... Sky orders added to the court record. The leaf is a witness to the crime. Right. All right. The clinic, here we come. I'm it's gonna... time for justice. I'm going to call it Maracas Clinic. Maractus Clinic. Whatever you want to call it. Marac Maraca Miraculous. Miraculous Maracas. Maractus. It's like cactus, but it's Maractus. Miraculous cactus. Okay, sweetie. It's like the word miraculous with cactus mixed together. Okay, you're overselling it. Mirac miraculous cactus. Maractus. Okay, honey. All right, guys and gals, we're 30 minutes in. Uh, we're about two likes away from 100. Let's get those likes up, and Amber and I are going to continue the story. Ah, you two again. Oh, when will you ever learn? Look at me, however you want. You're not getting in today. I wonder, I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. Ah, what's this? Detective Sky? Mm, yesterday was Prosecutor Gavin. Today it's Detective Sky, huh? Who are you two, really? 
Hmm. Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. All right, in we go. Inside of the clinic. Where is the clinic? Oh, yep, we haven't been here. Okay. You sound like you're a real policeman when you make the police voices. I'm just police officers I heard growing up. I knew that. It sounds so natural. Huh? Kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Uh, beyond it being where the victim lived, looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Okay, so we're going to examine. Come on, guys. You're still two likes away. Let's go. Let's see some hustle. Oh, I didn't even ask if you knew what you were... Oh, if you guys got... I'll ask you later about it. Oh, shoot. I what? To, I need to make sure I put the tuna back in the fridge. What tuna? There was tuna in the fridge for the salad. So you took it out? Well, I was trying to put the pizza in. If, it, if it's out of the fridge, it would be over on the side uh, thingy. Black container. Then I must have put it back in the fridge, honey. I, I was just like, I was a little spacey. I'm also gonna have one of your uh, one of your cheesecake things for dessert today. I am gonna have one. You want some too later? Do you want some cheesecake with me later? Wake up, love a snack. Wake up, Andy's rum seat. Good idea. <laughs> You're funny. All right, ready to do this examination. Oh, really? All right, we're gonna look at the bear first. Asking for donations. Where's the bear? Oh, the bear is asking for donations. Should we have a little bear on our video that says, "Please give me donations"? We should have a crying uh, puppy. Donate. With like a, I don't want to be like that person. Or the puppy should be injured in some way with a little crutch. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> messed up. All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. With the me. clinic reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. <laughs> I would not go to this hospital. <laughs> yes, that's the way to get money out of people. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. That's that shady. That is oh the very gosh. definition of grift right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. No, that's wow. not grift. That's just reminding people they no, better pay that's, up. That's, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's messed up. That's all kinds of messed no, up. No, that's when I, I like that. These people know. These people are your spirit animal, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna make a clinic now, and no, that's what I'm gonna write no, on it. No, you are not. We're holding the scalpel. Brutal, but effective, I guess. Effective is right. Cheesecake is good. I don't have any. I am jealous, says Justo. I'm sorry, Justo! If you want, I'll, I'll feel bad the whole time I'm eating it. I'm there you sorry. Go. Amber, there's her shoes. Oh, her shoes are so pretty. I would totally wear those. You look good in those. There's a single pair of sandals here. Pump sandals. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Hmm. Or maybe it's a visitor that's come to see Dr. Maractus. You'd think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if his patient or visitor isn't still here... Why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these just in case. <gasps> They left their shoes so that they wouldn't be... <clears throat> so they wouldn't leave footprints behind. Because those are unique shoes. They went out with those non-unique shoes. 
thinking that they wouldn't be found out because of their shoe prints, but little did they know they stepped on a leaf, which did make their shoes unique, and there's only one pair of shoes missing, which means if we find the place where someone is having those slippers and it has a leaf on the bottom, we will find the shoes, especially because it has paint on the bottom with I, a missing leaf. I don't always know how Ace Attorney case go, but if this was an anime, I can solve the case right now. If this was an anime, the girl is the one responsible for killing the doctor. She found out about the fact that her fiancé has a bullet lodged in his heart and he's slowly dying. The man had the opportunity to operate, and it was a malpractice thing. And then, she, who wants to be a gangster anyway, picked up the gun that he left behind. And then as he ran away, she shot him while wearing a pair of the hospital sandals. Or the hospital, like, you know, flip-flops. But then she completely forgot that she left her shoes at the clinic. Yeah, she was being all stealthy and, like, awesome, but then she forgot one thing. She left the real evidence behind. Totally. So she was she was a real gangster there. Like, I think what she did was because her own boyfriend was a coward and he fainted at the sight of blood or something. Like, basically what happened is she was, like, she tried to make him look cool, and then she shot the guy, and then basically what happened is when she, he came to, he thought that he did it. Um, no they don't, Gio. That's, that's, m most men don't wear women's sandals. A few men. A few very unique men. Not all men. Most men wear shoes. They don't wear women's clothing. That's I don't know where you learned that, but no. No, no, no. There are exceptions. There are some people, there are some men that wear women's clothing, but most men do not. Small minority. Very small. See how the sandals are missing, though? These must be the slippers for patients at the clinic! Uh, the same as a pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. And ours have paint on the bottoms. Which means they were taken out of here at the night of the murder. Right. The paint's from the hit and run, after all. Oh, no. She probably hit... Do you think she was the one on, on the wheel of the car who actually hit uh, Ace Attorney? Or do you think it was the, um, the doctor who hit and run, ran him? Um... This is getting interesting. But I don't know. what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in the trash can? And what were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? Hmm, I don't know, Luke. Or maybe maybe it was, uh... Here's another tie to it. Look at all the ramen bowls. So Aldoon could have tried to kill the guy. I think multiple people tried to kill this doctor that night. Yeah, I think the doctor had a lot of enemies. Well, I mean, he's bad doctors. So. I mean, look at his clinic. He says, pay up because I'm the one holding the scalpel. Mm. The guy looks like kind of a jerk. Also, he's connected to the mob. Of course, he would have a lot of people after him. Well, I don't know, Luke. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who hit the doctor. Okay, guys, move on from the shoes. Men wear men's shoes, women wear women's shoes. If there's an educator that is lying to people, that educator needs to be dragged out and slapped because they're giving misinformation. They should be saying a few people, a few men in the world wear women's clothing. Not all men. They are using false doctrine to children, and it's wrong. Okay, anyway. Look at all these bowls! They're from Eldoon's Noodles. There's Mr. Salty. Look at all the bowls. Then I think we figured something out. That Mr. Eldoon was also inside of this building. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. No, 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 no. Wrong. Not exactly what I was thinking, but... All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Trucy. Hmm. So they didn't want us to be able to go into the clinic because that kind of ruins everything for them. So we have two motives now. We've got the girl and her sandals. We've got Mr. Eldoon's bowls. And we have this teddy bear. Why are Mr. Eldoon's bowls being washed inside the clinic? Maybe he uses it because it has running water? 
This is so weird. I don't I'm know. weirded out. Or maybe the dude who orders. I don't know. This is still weird. This ties two new suspects the girl and the old man. That's what this does. <laughs> yeah. And this tree. Also, Mr. Aldoon doesn't even work in this clinic anymore. You think he actually worked in this clinic? I think he was a doctor in another clinic oh. that went out of business. Oh, yeah. It'd maybe. be too convenient if he's an ex employee. But I mean, who knows? Ace maybe. Attorney Games always throw things for a loop. Maybe he no delivers clues. to the clinic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, but know. his bowls are never super clean. Look how clean these bowls are. Yeah. I mean, you've seen, like, the bowl that we actually have is kind of dirty because, I mean, you've seen what his sink is. Um, yeah, he doesn't have good. No clues. Sanitation is the number one um, thing that you have to do in a, um, if you own your own restaurant. Sanitation is your number one priority. Because if you even have one rat in your restaurant, you can get shut down permanently. Mm-hmm. So you don't want a rat. No clues here. No clues in the trash can. So we did the teddy bear. We did this. Also, he's already violating the health code in the United States twice because he's supposed to have a separate sink for washing plates than washing your hands. And he only has one sink. You need a hand washing sink and you're supposed to have a dishwashing sink. And if you're watching vegetables, you actually have to have a third sink for that. So he actually doesn't have enough sinks for his business. Mm. I'm just saying. Also, his water I don't think is sanitary. I mean, he said he's his wife. Maybe the wife comes <clears throat> to this building because it has running water. I don't know. It's weird that all the bowls they're mentioning are clean for once. That's... I mean, that's gonna be a clue. Yeah. Look! This door says doctor's office! I think this is the victim's private office. It's not locked! I mean, it is locked! I mean, it's not locked! Too bad! Trucy, can you read... Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. <sighs> like those little bike locks. Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. She's a bike thief. <laughs> That's probably not a hobby you want to tell many people about, <laughs> Trucy. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh, Apollo. That sound, it came from behind this door. Someone's in there. It's oh playing gosh. the Ace Attorney music. <gasps> Let's check it out, Trucy. A break-in! They left through that window! Uh-oh. Wait, Apollo, you're too late to catch them now! That must be their her experience as the panty snatcher chaser. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check out the room first, Apollo! If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance! You're right! She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so now we're inside the doctor's clinic. All right, let's go. Uh, so who do you think leaped out the window? I don't have any idea. I don't know. I, I can't solve cases at all. I don't know. I don't think it was that girl who's all dainty because she left a huge mess. So I don't think it was her. I think it was probably Noodle Man. Noodle Man looks like he would leave some mess like this. I still think Noodle Man was an ex-gangster. He doesn't act like a doctor, nor does he act like a, a Noodle Man. I don't know why, but I like Noodle Man. You like Mr. Aldoon? I really like him a lot. Even though I think I would get sick from his noodle stand, the fact that he's putting effort into making an honest life, I would still buy a bowl of ramen from him. Even if it made me sick later, I think it would make me feel happy. I appreciate his effort. I would I would purchase some ramen. I also think he would be fun to hang out with. I like people that are low-key and don't have everything perfect. The fact that he wrote N-O-O -O on his sign and he didn't care, that's my kind of people. I He's very humble and I appreciate that. Have I we, like that. Have we played Sly Cooper a long time ago? Wow, they made a mess in this office. I think out of all the people in this game, that would be the person I would be most likely to make friends with. Mm. What's inside of all these jars? Ugh. Those are organs. Whoa, what are those? The wall is covered with beakers. Eek! Something's moving inside that one! You look Apollo! Hey, you look 
fuck yourself! You can't- Oh! Gross! It's a goldfish! Oh, I thought oh. it was something disgusting. I thought it was gonna be like organs or something. Oh! Something like very mafia related. I don't know, I watch too much mobster stuff. Oh, I don't want to tell you what I was thinking it was. That was darker than mine. Uh, I think so. Mm. Wow! They're all fish! So many kinds! Whoever designed this had a sick sense of humor. Yeah, I was thinking organs. Uh, okay. Books and papers are scattered all around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. The burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is lying on its side. Huh? The juice that spilled out of that cup, it's dry. So, the messy one wasn't our burglar just now. Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. Yeah, because people had been uh, probably in here since the... We're on day two now, right? Since the murder. So now we have people that are actually looking for stuff. I mean, it's still a possibility that somebody from the... The family is trying to frame the girl because they don't like her. Like, they could have grabbed her shoes and left them at the doctor's office and are just trying to frame her. Like, I don't think so. That lady, that lady who's the mobster lady, mm -hmm. dude, when we talked to her, she was so, like, casually kind to us. Even though she talked about killing people casually in conversation, every time that Trucy would say something to her, she doesn't seem like the kind of person that would try to hurt, a, like, a young girl because Trucy was saying some really weird stuff and that mobster mom was just laughing the whole time. I think the mobster lady is super easygoing. No, I, I never said it was a... There are always characters that can randomly appear. Oh, like, you mean somebody else was trying to get rid of the yeah. girl? Because I think the mobster mom is nice. She appears nice. I think she is. Okay. I like her. This potted plant has been seen better days. Hmm, that doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? Well, normally burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I were a burglar. I didn't ask about that. So why look under a potted plant? Maybe they were looking for the key to the safe. I've heard of people putting their house keys under plants, but the key to a safe? Then maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. You know what? Just stop talking, Trucy. This is getting us nowhere. Okay, so we looked at the potted plant. We looked at the floor. I like Trucy's positive attitude. She has so much hope in her life. It was the light this entire time. Okay, I'm click on the light. Mm. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken! Uh, br broken? What do you mean? Burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it! Yeah, but look how they dropped it. It's standing up on the floor. Hmm. Hey, look at the cord! Huh? There's a red splotch on part of the cord. You think that's blood? Hmm, it's a little bright for blood, almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's pink. for sure. Why would it be pink? Wait, was he killed in his office? And then they staged his murder out in public? Oh, wow, that would be disturbing. Was there... Oh! Did they say there was blood on the lamp? Yeah, I They said there they was did. a red splotch. Yeah, that's weird, Luke. Interesting. Well, actually, this is making me feel disturbed. It's a fun murder mystery. I don't mystery. want to think about no it. No clues. No clues here. No clues here. It's always fun to speculate. Oh, what a cute little thing! Mm, it looks like a four-digit lock. Okay, the safe. Ah! Oh, someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo! Seven, nine. Wait, do you think... That burglar... Nope. That burglar just now was trying to open it. Oh. I wonder what's inside the safe. Hmm, is there any way we can figure out what the last two numbers are? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record. Something... Whoops. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. Hmm, I wonder. All right. Uh, see if we can crack the safe open. 
I don't know what the last two numbers are, Luke. Um, seven, nine. Safe numbers. Mm. Fingerprint powder? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't remember my Maya voice, but it's kind of like Tracy. I really hope that Phoenix Wright married Maya. It will break my heart if he didn't. Geo, you're not a loser. You were just taught something incorrect. You're not a loser. Relax. Just enjoy the stream. Alright, so people want us to try to use prints on it? I've got just the thing. Let's say that. Let's upset Trudy. Well, I have an idea. I knew it, Apollo! What is it? Well, all we have to do is know what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next numbers are. Somebody said it in the chat. Somebody said finger, uh, fingerprint stuff. Fingerprint powder. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I just understood what you said. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to scream at you. Not scream at me, it's just you have a very high decibel level Today sometimes. I do, because of the coffee, and yeah. I won't have any tomorrow. Uh -huh. I'll be back to my normal self. Oh gosh. I had to have coffee, otherwise yeah, I have no yeah, motivation yeah, 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 to okay, clean. Okay. It's not letting me uh, use this, though. I would like to use this. Maybe I have to present it. Present. <laughs> when you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print! Exactly. When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, correct? So, if we can find the buttons with fingerprints... We'll have the safe code! Not bad, Apollo! Unless somebody, you know, randomly pressed all the buttons, and then we'll have a lot of fingerprints. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what if somebody oh put their whole hand over all of them? I mean, that's what I would do if I was a thief. <laughs> if, I, if I knew the combination... And I'm trying not to get caught. I would put my, I would put like fingerprints all over the safe, so it, like yeah. you know. And then I also use the dead man's fingerprints if he's still in the office. Yes, use his fingers to open the safe. Exactly. Don't ever try this at home, kids. I'm just theoretically. Theoretically. Theoretically, I'd make a very smart, uh, <laughs> you know, criminal. <laughs> so two. Five, seven, nine. And it had a backspace. Why does it have a backspace? Darn it. No, that's an enter button, Amber. Oh. Well. Alright, I'm I'm I blowed on it. So it's either seven nine two five or seven nine five two. It's only the alright, so how do I put this in now? I would just I mean, you can go back. I mean, you already you already dusted for prints. Well, I mean, it's supposed to do something after that. Did you press X? No, that's dust. That adds okay. more dust. Now blow it off. I have blown it off. Okay, now go options or back or autoplay. No, I don't think that's right. All right, now go to the safe. Two and five. What a cute no, little see, thing! See, it's doing it all over again. Maybe there's something in the court record! Yeah, because it was supposed to do something after we did all the prints. I guess I need to put all the stuff on there then. I don't know. Try this again. Take that! Okay. When, when you. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm not doing it all again. I'm just Okay, we Not did this. bad, Apollo. So how do we know when we're supposed to what we're supposed to do next? I don't know. Like I was blowing on it and then there was something that's supposed to trigger after this. See, now it worked. So it bugged before. Yeah. See? Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Look at seven and nine. These are the glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open this safe. Oh, they were wearing gloves. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot. Okay, so should we be adding our fingerprints to this? 
We should put on gloves first. We should probably put on gloves, yeah. Alright, let's put on imaginary gloves and then we'll do this. Alright, let's try, uh... Five... And two. Whoa! Whoa, randomly it worked. Cool! It opened! Oh, there's a little cat inside. Cute little cat. No clues here! Even though there's no clues with the cat. Alright, let's go with that. No clues?! There's literally something right there! This looks like a medical chart! There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray? Hmm, can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either, it's all in medical speak. Hmm, but the names are easy enough to read. Look by patient, it says. Walkie Kataki. So this is Walkie, our client's chart, huh? Uh, why would this one chart be here in this safe? <laughs> Let's see, the physician's signature says, Pal Miraculous or whatever, Miracus or whatever his name is. Miraculous! Yeah, let's go with that. What is it, Apollo? Well, look here where it says who filed the chart. Let's see, Nurse Alita Tiala. <gasps> oh. Oh, her, oh, she filed it, and so she was the nurse at the time, so she knew that he made him. She knew the doctor made a mistake. Oh. Alita is Walkie's fiance. Mm, this one, Ida. That's one Ida too many, uh, Pololo. Never mind that. What's her name doing here? How should I know? Though I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic. Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. Hmm. I'm sure she had her reasons. So Alita Talia Talia what is her name? Alita Tiala Alita Tiala? What is that a parody of? Everybody has like a, a weird like play of words. What is her name supposed to mean? Oh, I never understand what everyone's words mean. Alright. Um, so, uh, Lita worked at the clinic, and she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart. Hmm, you got the I and Y wrong, Apollo? I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? Waki's chart added to the court record. The doctor could probably help us, the other doctor. Examine the bullet. There's a bullet inside the safe! <gasps> Whoa! This looks like a bullet hole! Oh my gosh. Hmm, you still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of the safe? Hey! The bullet came out! The tip is all squished! Not surprising, given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Bullet added to the court record. That's weird. Well, it is weird. Anything else? No other clues. So, we opened up the safe. Someone is shot at somebody while the safe was open. I guess. The window is ajar. That must be how our burglar escaped. I wonder who it was. Maybe it was just a burglar who happened to pick here. Yeah, but there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month myself. Whoever broke in obviously needed to break in today. Alright, so I guess that's everything, so we're out of here. Well, that was fun. There's nothing else in here, I don't believe. Do you see anything else we can examine? Because I don't. I mean, the walls. Mm. walls I don't know. Blue. No clues here. No I mean, the glass. the glass. Nope. No, nope. no. Nope. Chair. It looks like a glass of water. No, oh, glass Luke! Of we have to get... We have to clean this up. It's damaging that wood. What are you talking about? That wood is going to be damaged. We need to actually get that water and and make sure we get, like, some, uh, you know... You're talking about the game. I was like, the house looks immaculate. What? No, I'm talking about that, that nice wooden desk in the game. It's going to get ruined with that water stain on it. It's gonna lose value. You have to quickly make Amber. sure that you fix that. Amber, this, honey, this is a fictional game. You need to wipe that up with a paper towel, and then you need to maybe put some varnish on there or something. Amber. Get some, like, 
Am Amber. Lemon shine Hello. or something. Oh, amps. Fictional game. Yeah, but it's bothering. Nope. It's really bothering me. It's dripping. It's ruining the wood. It's probably a thousand dollar desk. It's gonna they make the value value go down five hundred dollars. Amber, this is a drawn object. This yeah, is, this but is it's not. No you need. They need to fix that. No. You still have time to save the wooden desk. No, it's actually drawn that way. Just like this will never change. This background will be here the entire time with the the shoes and the bowls. Like the lady I'm really shoes, the little somebody missing comes slippers. In and, and gets that water off of there. It's it doesn't bother, bother you that there's like literally a hole no. where the slippers are? No. It bothers that me. That would bother that... me because there's missing slippers. No, I don't care about that. I care about that nice desk being ruined. <laughs> That's why people have coasters. Okay. 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 Let's move on. Oh. Luke promised me if we ever have a nice wooden desk like that and you spill the water, please, within, you know, at least a few minutes, if not a few hours, please clean it up and make sure you, like, you know, get some nice, you know, You have rings all, all stuff. over my coffee table. No, there's not. This is not a, this is not a, where, where's the ring? Um, where is it? I can see it right there. It's That's right. painted wood. That's the leftover ring there. That's the leftover ring over there. No, that will easily come out. Let me... Look at that. Okay. Look at that. All right. Okay. See? Yeah, I'm. That easily I, comes I, off. Okay. All right. I see. I'm. I'm aware. I've it's witnessed. It's not on the I've solid witnessed a miracle. Wood. I've witnessed a miracle. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, we're back inside the garage. What? There's the cat again. Maybe the cat witnessed everything. Hey, a kitty cat here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Meow. <clears throat> it's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. <laughs> We've already been in here, though. Why are they having us be in here again? Like, shouldn't all this stuff be... I think the game might be bugging out. Because we've already done this. I don't think we're supposed to be in the garage. Alright. Something's not right. We're out. This is not correct. This is not correct. Alright. Let's go back to the mansion. And then move on to the park. Whoa! Okay, there's, there's Emma. Back to Emma. One hour and... I know that face. Back to Emma. All right, Emma. I spelled Emma wrong. Okay. Everybody's screaming, go back to the park. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you sorry about? Uh, I don't know. I'm just... we're, we're doing it at our own pace. Mm. You didn't do anything wrong. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Mm. Ah, that's good tea. Hey, how did you know? Hmm? How do I know it's good tea? Because it's, like, quality. Mm. You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Huh? Next, she'll have us analyzing face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us out, Apollo. Wait, what are we having her... What are we trying to have her ask about? Oh, you can't randomly present? Oh, yeah, you can present stuff to her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so... We're gonna present what? I guess we can present all kinds of stuff. Um, let's show her... The lamp? Say, could you take a look at this lamp? <clears throat> oh, thank you. Um, oh, I appreciate that, Geo. Says, pretend the handyman Sam and handyman Geo went to fix the room. I appreciate that, Geo. Thank you guys for fixing the room. Thank Amber respects the wood. That's right, Caliga. Thank you, Caliga. Thank you, Geo. Thank you, Geo, for helping Amber's OCD. <sighs> it's not OCD. It's called taking care of things that you purchase. Somebody purchased that beautiful desk. Just because somebody died there... Doesn't mean someone shouldn't take care of that property after the person has died. So you think somebody actually died in that office? I'm more concerned about the deaths than the person who died. Hmm, the bulb's broken. 
right. Strange, isn't it? Really? I break bulbs all the time. My desk is a mess and my lamp is always falling over. Not too bright, huh? Ouch. <clears throat> I still think it's kind of odd. Wait, didn't they say... Did they say the bullet... Did they retrieve the bullet from the guy's head? Or was there no bullet in his head? No, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking things. I'm thinking maybe we have the murder bullet. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Trucy, wait! Uh, what? This bullet was inside the safe, right? That means the police don't know about it yet. All right, we can use this in the trial tomorrow. Do I have to repeat myself every time? If you're going to talk behind someone's back, do so quietly. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Trucy, wait! What? That's vital evidence there. You can't show her that. That's our secret weapon in tomorrow's trial. Oh, clever, Apollo. What did I tell you before? Hmm. What can we... We gotta talk to somebody who do it quietly. Okay, what can we give you then? You won't talk to us about... The, well, you do talk to us about the lamp. The shoes? Uh, I don't know what to present. What about the shoes, I guess? Hmm, yes, yes. Did you find something? Well, scientifically speaking, these are a pair of woman sandals. Pretty cute, too. We found them in the lobby at the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, say, this sandal has a toe mark. A toe mark? You mean a toe print? That I do. You can analyze it just like a fingerprint. This little clue might actually be a real windfall. Oh, there's one problem. The police station doesn't keep a record of toe prints. So we won't know whose it is. Well, I guess that would be too much to hope for. Still, it might be useful somehow. Let's analyze it. Okay. How do we analyze it? Um, I guess we just examine it. Really? Oh, there it is. Hey, Apollo! You think this is it? Huh? This could be a toe print. Maybe we could get a print off of this. Let's try it out. We're gonna get a toe print. How are we... Toe pick. I don't even know where the sandals are in this craft. I guess we'll just do the entire craft. I don't know. Yeah. I'm doing it all because I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I mean, we're already... Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe. But wait. I mean, it's great that we've got the print. But is there such a thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. This seems like a good time to ask a detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's see if we can talk to her about it. Uh... Okay, do we actually have a toe print thing now? Where, where's the toe print evidence? Oh, gosh. Justice says, start keeping toe prints. Start keeping toe prints, yeah. <laughs> There's, there it is. There's another toe print inside the sandal. Look at that, Amber. Cool. No clues here. Well, her toes must have been pretty dirty, even though she looks so, like, dainty. I wonder, this could this be a print? Why would there be a finger? Oh, you made a toe print. Good call, Apollo. Uh, Print. 
Snow Prince. Uh, I bet we can analyze it just like a regular print. This could be a vital piece of evidence! Let's do the entire screen again. Like this. Um, Alright guys and gals, your next like goal is 150. Let's see if you guys can do that. Thank you everybody. They match. Because it's Tiala or whatever her name is. It's the girl. Alita Tiala. Yeah, Alita. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe maybe. Wow, I feel like the case is solved already. What's next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait, the detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her, get some expert advice. I guess so. I'm not sure she really qualifies as an expert, though. There's still no talking option. Uh... Hmm. Well, we know it's the same toe print, so how do we present it to her? Uh, present the evidence? There is no toe print evidence. There's no sheet. We can present the sandals? Ah, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there, a toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? Hmm, all you need to do is a sample of the same toe print off another shoe, for instance. All right, so if the prints matched, you'd know the same person wore both. Hmm, do I have another shoe worn by the same person? Yep. I think I might actually have one. Hmm, oh. I'm beginning to suspect something here. Detective Sky, can you compare the sample with the other one? Uh, this pair of sandals, toe print and all. Oh, the print on these is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course. Hang on. Bingo! Gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. A perfect match. The same person wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth. Do know oh man, is. you know what I would do is keep those at your office and then when that one girl comes by your office again and then she's like, hey, how is the case going? And be like, by the way, I found these sandals uh, randomly um, around outside my clinic. Did you leave them here last time you were here? I mean, at my office. And then she'd be like, yes, I did. And it's like, oh my gosh, you are the murderer. It's like, yes, you're arrested. I don't know if she's the murderer though. I think she's connected to it, but I don't think she killed the guy. I think she did. You think she's actually, I mean, but there's been so many Ace Attorney games where the girl turns out to be the murderer. I like think the, that's fun, the pretty though. girl. That's what I like about it. Expect the unexpected. Of course, mm. then, if the unexpected is what happens every single time, right. then you actually end up expecting the unexpected to be expected. But just think about how many Ace Attorney games, it's always the pretty girl who's the murderer. The, the girl who poisoned the people. The the girl who uh, tried to kill Ace Attorney in, in school. The girl who tried to frame the other girl, the Shrine Maiden. Yeah. You know, all this other stuff. Like, it's... No, like 80, 75% of the time, the murderer is always like the cute girl. It makes it more fun that way. I mean, I guess they try to get away with it because they're using their pretty privilege. I don't know. But yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we that hope... this time around, it's not the girl. That's that's me. Aww. Because I, I would, you know. You want it to be Noodle Man. No, I don't want it to be Noodle Man. I like Noodle Man. He's fun. Yeah, mm. I mean, he's got motive, though. Noodle Man has motive. What if it was just an accident and the guy just ended up dying on accident? I don't see how shooting somebody in the head is just an accident. <laughs> oh, maybe the bullet randomly went off. I don't know. Mm, Maritas Clinic. Mm. Man, I don't think the mother could fit in those shoes. 
No offense. Wow. I'm just saying. I mean, if it's the a- The mother is dainty, slim, and delicate, and beautiful. Okay. <laughs> That's your opinion. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Uh, toe print, uh, 115. Toe pick. Not toe, toe print. Toe pick. Uh, Hickville, the clinic. Speak to Ace. I speak to Ace. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm just saying it'd be too predictable if it's the girl, though. I want it to be somebody else. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something, I can use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright, tell me what happened seven years ago, please. I want to know. I need to know. You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Hmm. All right, let's go. Seven years ago, I was standing in this in a court on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was over the news, I remember that. Yeah, you were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yeah, he was only 17 years old at the time. 17 years old? That's still high school! He took the bar exam board in Europe. Uh, they, they're progressive over there, you know? I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer, and my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Ooh. Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? How does it feel? I don't want to believe it's true. What happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jumping to my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence, maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright! Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery for now. So, um, pretty much the the thing he's talking about was never a game. Oh, okay. Yeah, they uh, he lost his attorney's badge, um, I believe, in something that wasn't... was... Uh, it's just like uh, Shadows of the Empire thing where they just talk about the war that happened but it wasn't in any game that we know of or it wasn't a super rare game that people don't really know about. Shadows of the Empire was not a rare Star Wars game. That was a very popular N64 and PC game. It kind of tar tied into Dark Forces, which was I a, thought. What? I thought Shadows of the Empire was just random stories. That no, was it was a game. book! It was a book and it was a oh, video game. I thought that was just like legends that never actually ended up in a game no, or anything. No, 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 no. And it tied into the original trilogy. All what are you of, talking about? All of the books from Star Wars tied into the original trilogy. It was what? Disney that retconned it was everything. A they were books? Yes! Shadows oh. of the Empire was a book and a video game. Oh. Oh. Only Disney retconned everything. George Lucas kept pumping out tons of Star Wars stories going all the way till after Luke's death. Like, Cade Skywalker, his future descendant, what? who's a smuggler and, like, what? hundreds of years later. That's what? how far it what went. What is more well-known, the books or the games? The Shadows of the Empire book or the game? I would argue that the video game is more well-known than the books. Oh my gosh, was that the one that you, like, had your mom go in a corner and then she ended up getting hit by stormtroopers? Yeah. Look! That's why I remember that. The reason why my mom hates video games is because I accidentally led her into a corridor yeah, right. where she was ambushed. You did not accidentally do that. That was completely on purpose. Well, I mean, you gotta get people's feet wet playing games somehow. How old were you at the time? Uh... <laughs> you were 20, weren't you? <laughs> no. I was probably 17. 
I was also, I remember, I had foot surgery, so I was kind of annoyed, and my mom kept pestering me and said she wanted to understand why I liked video games, so I said, here you go. <laughs> you were explaining her how to do the game, and then you made her, like, get shot up by someone. Well, papers. I was, uh, the story goes. Oh, yeah, didn't she scream or something? Like, she yeah, got she, really upset. She, she dropped the controller and she ran away, but um, what happened was I was in a part of the game where I was literally standing outside of a room where there were stormtroopers, so there wasn't really any place that you could go to navigate. Yeah. So, when she took asked to play, I gave her the controller, but I knew I was in a part of the game oh, that you was, were, you know. You were kind of already, it was kind of already set up. Fate had already kind of set it up. Fate was already rolling, so, so she you just she went through <laughs> she went through the corridor, and there was like six stormtroopers in there, and that was it. Wow. Also, she died, so then I had to retrace my steps like 30 minutes in the past to get back to where I was to begin with. And this is why K-Mom never played a video game again. Yeah, that's why she never played a video game again. It, so it wasn't necessarily like I was laughing at her, like, haha. It was kind of like, oops. Um, <laughs> okay. But it did make you, it probably made it you laugh because it made you feel better because it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny, but I mean, it was like, I would have wished that she actually would have asked to play like a little while ago when I had already dealt with all the enemies and was like exploring the base of Hoth. That was kind of cute that she wanted to play your game. I mean, I, whenever girls wanted to play my game systems, I'd always let them. Like my sister would ask, my mom, it's like I would oh, try. That's different than my brothers. M my girlfriend, like when she asked me to play games with her, I played. What? What girlfriend? You! Oh. I never told you you weren't allowed to play. Name one time when we were hanging out when I said, Amber, you can't play this. Mm -hmm. You can't. So. Mm -hmm. Unless I was live streaming then, but that's after we're married. I was, I said girlfriend. I was always on my best behavior when you were my girlfriend and my fiance. Once you were my wife, it was kind of, you know, however I am is how I am. <laughs> so, anyway, what do you want to do with Phoenix here? Should we give him evidence? Should we, like, I don't know. Like, he's not talking about his case anymore. Um, let's see. Thank you for the super chat, Corey. Your birthday king. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, K-Wings. I just downloaded Batman the Arkham Trilogy for my Switch. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm watching the 2024 Royal Rumble! Awesome! Thank you so much, Corey! Oh, yeah, Royal Rumble still Thank you, Corey! God bless you! Thank you! Star Wars. It's, uh, what was that? 172? Alright, thank you, Corey! All right, uh, should we try to present something to Phoenix? Um... And thank, thank you before Justo. Yep, we're having a good day. I hope you are too, Corey. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat. Bless your heart, Corey. And thank you so much for the super chat, Justo. Bless your heart. Thank you very much. All right, um... Well, I finally got done sharing the video. Yep. Which took me a while to do. Mm. Um, so that's kind of why I've been like You're fine. off and on. Mm. I could come. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what we should do. What shall we do? I mean, we talked to him about everything, so um, maybe we need to present something for him to, you know, talk. <clears throat> I'll try this, Noodles. Huh? It's refreshing to be so thoroughly ignored for a change. And we found these, too! They're trucies! Thanks, Apollo. Though, I have to admit, as a father, I wonder... Why are you still carrying my daughter's panties around in your pocket? Ah! That, that'll teach me to show off my evidence that it's the right. It's refreshing to be so thoroughly ignored for a change. It's refreshing to be... Oh my gosh, Luke. It's refreshing. I'm just gonna keep going through. Luke, 
Leo, it's refreshing. Leo Code texted me and said that stuff bothered you. The one stuff bothered you in the clinic and the other stuff bothered Luke. The wood bothered me and the bowls bothered you. Well, I mean, I don't want to eat out of dirty bowls. Bowls are for eating cereal. Uh. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. All right, Luke. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. Yeah, I, I went through everything. We can't present anything to him, so we're not supposed to be here. Wait. Ah, so that was what led you to the guilty party, huh? Yeah, thanks to you ripping mirrors off cars, I was able to deduce that. You make a good point, Apollo. In fact... It could be said that I'm uh, to thank for finding the criminal. <laughs> think what you want, Mr. Wright. Knock yourself out. Okay, so that's all he will talk to us about. Uh. Uh. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we need to go somewhere. Let's go back to the Wright Detective Agency. Bye. Oh no. Maybe try prison. Hooray! Yay! We're in prison! Yeah, save that louder, Amber. <laughs> we're in prison! No. <laughs> prison chat. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back. Back in Daddy's... Oh, you again! Do you always have to announce your entrances like that? Creepy. Man, my old man. He man. Now I'm all in funk and it's all his fault. One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson and failed clearly. You two got your work cut out for you, straight up. Of course, I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go. Some days I wonder why I do what I do. <laughs> Guilty verdict. You realize you'll be executed, right? Hey, man, you don't see me bogging out about one or two guilty charges. Hmm. But what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, shorty? Like a badge of honor. They don't give the death penalty, do they? You didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. He's gonna be a pain to have on the stand. Oh my god. Oh, he's already been on the stand, and he has already been a pain. Yeah, he's already been a pain. Man, my old man is whack. Disappointing, that's what he is. Hmm. I've heard that he wants to leave the mob. Over my dead body. I spend my life trying to keep it real, being an OG, and never stepping down. Now my old man wants to go soft. Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. The day I go out of get out of the clink, that's the day Alita and I start the next generation of Kataki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail for my sake. I feel like he wants to go to jail even if he didn't do it just to show that he's a cool criminal. Yeah, but what he doesn't understand is most of the people that are tried for murder in the Ace Attorney games get executed. Yeah, so if he was going to jail for robbery, then that would be one thing. But the fact that he's going to jail for murder, I think he's not too bright upstairs. Even Ace Attorney's girlfriend, or the one who pretended... Because remember, they were twins. Yeah. The girl, the other twin went to jail. Nice, yeah. And then hit the, the real murderer went to jail and she was executed for murder. Yeah. And she was, like, underage when she was arrested. Um, and she was yeah. still executed. And then the twin sister went to jail for several years and got out. I believe. I don't yep. remember how many years she went to jail, but that's the girl that Phoenix was originally in love with. One well, of those girls. Maybe we could ask him about the, um, his girlfriend being a nurse. Show him the shoes. Waki, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do. I was the one who bought them for her. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, a birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad. So cute, man. So these sandals are hers? 
Yeah, I kind of had that feeling. Oh no, Trudy just under- I mean, Trucy just got it. What's up with the funky vibes? Ah, uh... well, your girlfriend's a killer, dude. What about the medical chart to see if, um, like, maybe, cause didn't, maybe that would prove that she was a nurse at that clinic or something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. what's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie, it's yours. Hey, look, I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long enough, right? Um, you have a bullet in your heart. I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look here in particular. Where it says, Nurse, it's signed Alita. Ah, you lawyers do your homework? So you met Miss Tiala when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic, so... Could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting, please? Fine, fine, fine. I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. Oh, wow, that's right. She didn't want to tell us. Mm-hmm. Which means that it's something... She's hiding something. Man, that is so far off the hook, it's off the chain, G. He seems preoccupied with something else. Wonder how my Alita's doing. Man, I miss her. Has she actually come to visit him? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Mm. Maybe he has more... Maybe we have more things to talk about since we presented stuff. Yeah, there we go. That's my question. Has she actually gone to visit him in prison, or is she just using this guy to get in with the mob family? Why would she want to get in with the mob family? Well, they get married, uh, he goes to jail, and then she, since she's his, you know, Beyonce, wife, no, or wife, since she's his wife, yeah, after they get and married. they're looking for a new leader of the mob, then she'll take over. She would be promoted. Well, why it happens would... all the time in anime. Like, if the, the leader of the Yakuza dies, sometimes the wife of the leader ends up becoming the boss until their heir is able to take over. So maybe that's what her plan is. Yeah. I'm just asking, has she actually come to see Walkie in prison? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. They could have sold that desk for a lot of money. If Will you had, stop bringing up the desk? If they had just taken care of the wood. About half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me, hauled me off to the docks. The Maractus Clinic? Yeah, whatever. That's where I met her. My fallen angel. You mean Alita? She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say. The bad guy always gets the ladies. That's true. That is true. Why is that? Right. Uh, she was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style, ha. Huh? Guess what she said. What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet-like on the down low, you know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. So, that was your proposal? You know it, an oath of love right there in the hospital room. Just like that, the operation was done and we were out of there. See you later, bye. Um, about the operation. Yeah, didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report, I know it's still in me. I'm so confused what happened. Hmm. So he was supposed to stay there longer, but he didn't. I have no idea. We're going to find out. This health checkup was the boss's idea, you said? Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G? You know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet and the checkup? Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of did. That's when I knew the doctor had to pay, see? I figured I'd get the cap pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, ain't I? Incidentally, had you ever had a health checkup? E- oh, psh. Have you ever had a, a checkup? Ah, blah, 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 blah. Incidentally, have you ever had a health checkup before? It's really hard going from different pitches live. I know, sweetheart. We'll do it live! Okay. <laughs> nah, my old man suddenly gets this idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older than, I mean. Monkey, we should watch what? Groundhog Day tonight. What? How? I when? De- I need to de stress. I've got this stream, I've got the Batman stream, I've got the Tekken stream, and then I've got the, uh, the, 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 the what do you call it? 
Oh gosh. Uh, I've I've got the um, Xbox stream or um, the Ultimate. Well, we've already talked to him about everything. Now what? Mm, I think we did everything we can. I think we're gonna need it to either go to. Man, that is so far off the hook, it's off the chain, G. I think... She hasn't visited him, I don't think. Yeah, I think she's just using him. I think you're right. That sucks. Well, I guess we should either go visit the... See if there's anyone at the park, or see if anyone... Or talk to the noodle guy. Oh, you think Mr. Aldoon's back? Maybe. Sweet. Works for me. I like his sign. No, it looks like he hates his life because he's like, no, I don't want to be here selling noodles. Mm -hmm. So we could probably show the x-ray to him then. Oh, yeah, maybe he would be able to analyze it. Well, he's a doctor. Yeah, you never lose the ability to do that. Mr. L. Doom, we've been looking all over for you. Yeah, what's the matter, Trucy doll? Ap Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he is a doctor still. Ugh. And he still has the skills. He's got the tools. He's got the talent. Mr. Eldoon, is everything all right? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Eldoon? Yeah, but we're not paying him to be expert advice. Okay, I guess we have to get, uh, we have the show him some stuff. What are we supposed to show him again? This. Um, Mr. Eldoon, could you take a look at this, please? Ah, a medical chart. Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics, kid. Ah. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Eldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. The chart belongs to my client. He's on trial on suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy. You can't put him on trial. He's, uh, ABD. Huh? ABD? All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. Could, can you tell us why? Uh. About to die. His hair looks like that underneath? Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way, it's like he's a completely different person. <laughs> he looks all respectable now. Wow. His haircut is nice. Whoa, what just happened? He's a completely different person. Well, according to this chart, this is Waki Kataki Feelers not doing so good. He's got a bullet right up there inside of his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see that the bullet is stuck in there. Why would that still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is to trick... Uh, it was too tricky to operate on. Hmm. What? That bullet snug as a bug there next to the aorta, which is connected to the heart. Oh, wow. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters in either side, and there'd be some serious bleeding going on in there. Oh, wow. Not something your average doc would be eager to fiddle with. Y you mean... It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. I it'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. <gasps> I'd give him another half a year tops. Oh my gosh. But Waki's operation was already half a year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. This kid shouldn't be on trial. He should be on an operating table. Great, just great. But I thought that guy said it would almost be impossible Ooh, to operate on. He could do it. What? You think that guy's a better surgeon than the other guy? Yes! Yes! And at the end of the game, 
he'll he'll prove how great he is as a doctor by being on trial and giving his expert advice. And instead of selling noodles, he'll actually put the real bad surgeon away, and he'll actually be able to finally have like Amber. some kind of respect for himself, and he'll be able to get his 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 surgeon practice back. You, you haven't been paying attention, sweetheart. The rival surgeon is dead. He's the only one left. Oh. In this area. I forgot. Well, then he should take his practice back right now. Yeah, probably, but Maybe he, he, because... could, he could end up being the murderer. No, I don't believe that anymore. This is the hero of the story. You have two suspects for murder, Amber. No, I don't want it to be Noodle Man. It's either Noodle Doctor no. Man or it's uh, the girl. No, it's not Noodle Man. Unless there's some another option that we'll find out. I don't believe it's him. How could Dr. Maractus do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I got a pretty good idea of how he felt. An emergency operation, he's got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds that bullet that's despair right there, Trucy doll. Cold despair. Despair? About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in the situation to go admitting he could take it out. He couldn't take it out. The Katakis! You bet. This kid's their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walkies back on the street living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. Yikes! How awful! That surgeon should have left town so the Katakis didn't kill him six months later when the, their kid passed away. And which doctor would they take him to, huh? Maricats? He's got enough ties to them, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible! He left Walkie to die! There's a darkness in this world, Trucy doll, waiting hungry. Compared to it, these gangs' turf wars are like kids' games. When you're up against a real evil, well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong. It'll take you all the same. Hmm. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Aldoon? You could operate on Walkie, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. What? So, so Waki... He's real lucky to be alive even now. No! There's one problem. Paolo? This chart. Look at the nurse section. Alita Talia. Or whatever. That's right. This operation was how they met. Yeah, the problem is she knew. She knew about Waki's condition, guaranteed. Ah! Why didn't she ever tell him? So that he would die and she would have the business. She would inherit everything. There's she motive! Knew! Oh my gosh! She knew he was going to die. That's why she was going to marry him. She was going to marry him so that he would die. Ooh. It was like how people marry people that are like a hundred years old so that they'll die and then they'll get all the money. Oh, wow. It was the same thing. Instead of her marrying an old guy for money, she was marrying an almost dead mobster kid for money. She married him for his money. Oh, wow. my god! Gold digger, gold digger. All right, guys, let's get those likes up. It doesn't make sense, though. If she knew her patient was in serious danger... You'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. No, because she wanted him to die. That's... What was she thinking, Apollo? What were you thinking, Alita? She wanted him to die. She Ooh. married him for his money because his family is rich. <gasps> oh my gosh. So killing the bad doctor was basically a cover-up <gasps> for something bigger. Oh! That's why she killed him, so that he wouldn't tell him. Mm hmm If the do the doctor knew, she killed the only person who knew. And then she was the only one who had seen the chart besides the doctor. Yep, there's only two people that know about the surgery. The girl and the deceased. Oof. Oh, my God. Wow, 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 wow. That's crazy. Next chapter. She wanted him to die. Wow. And she hasn't visited him in prison once. Which proves she doesn't care about him. Has she not visited him? 
he keeps saying how much he misses her and how much he wishes she would visit him. Mm. It's been forever since he's seen her. So obviously, only his dad, like his dad has visited him and Paulo and I don't know who else. Wow. Wow. Literally, we have visited him more than, and his dad have visited him more than his fiance. That's crazy. All right. District Court, defendant lobby number two. This is it. The big day. Did they, did you get any sleep, Apollo? Who's they? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. <gasps> that's only two hours, Apollo. Two hours of sleep. He sleeps the same sleep schedule as you, Luke. I get at least four. Really? I don't know. I'm not REM sleep, though. I, I wake up in spurts. I wake up every two and a half hours. I get up for a second, then I go back to sleep. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not very comfortable. Trucy. But at least you have me. Huh? And the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Good luck today, Apollo. That voice. Aww. Hey, uh, get any sleep? Mr. Wright! I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I uh, signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes a fake piano playing at the, uh... uh... Indochine? <laughs> somehow, somehow the place makes a fake piano playing at the pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? I uh, take a guess. Hmm, how about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman uh, tank of a mom? Nope, guess again, it's him. Oh my gosh, that's too bad, you know. Speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trucy. A new mom! <laughs> okay, I see why this is why I don't buy... This is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. Something is weird about their relationship! So, uh, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Uh, Lita Talia, your client's fiance. She's gonna be a witness? But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today, that much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. And there it is. We can't find a killer. I'll, I mean, if we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there, out of my panties. Oh gosh. June 16th, uh, June 17th, 10 a.m., District Court, room number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki, day number three. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up. It's a sold-out house. Very well, to recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party. Guilty of panty snatching. Yes, let's <laughs> not talk about that again. We did find out one thing for certain. My gosh! There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you see to his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiance, Herr Judge. His partner for life with no chance for parole. Very well. You may show the um, lucky lady to the stand. Your name and occupation, Fraulein? Alita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Ah, uh, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. I can. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first, but I couldn't hide the truth. Mm, honesty, another admirable trait. 
Fraulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kataki confessed his plans? His plans for murder! Yes! The witness will please give our testimony to the court. <gasps> is Waki listening to this? This is horrible betrayal. I mean, she's in it for the money, doll. This is horrible! He loves you, Tiala! He loves you! Don't do this to him! You heartless wench! Don't do this! Okay, Amber. All right, all right, all right, all right. Walkie's plant. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I... I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. Mm. Why would you testify against your own fiance? So the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then? Yes, with regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki mansion. On the charges of possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, where is it? Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Uh, yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks from the barrel that they're fired from. They call them rifling marks. Oh, rifling marks. Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. And when did the first... When did you first hear of Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just don't think he would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Okay. I think this is a good stopping point. Walkie's plan. Walkie's plan. All right. Are we stopping or are we going? We are stopping. Um, so anyway, guys, in order to get a uh, another episode, 1,000 views will be required. Um, we were able to stream a little bit longer than yesterday, so last time we stopped at about 500 views even, this time we stopped at 600. So that means you only have to get 400 views instead of 500. So the fact that you guys were able to do it yesterday, maybe you're able to pull another miracle tomorrow. I mean, yeah, for tomorrow. Um, but Yay. we're running late because of, uh, friends we're meeting, so I need to jump off and get started on the next stream in, like, less than 10 minutes, so... Um, but we had a lot of fun with our friends. We hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're leaving on a cliffhanger. And, uh, let's see. Save your progress. Yes. Here. Well, I have some time to think of a cool voice for Walkie's fiancé. I like Walkie's fiancé voice. I think it's kind of cool. Turnabout, day two, the final cross-examination. So this is the final day of the trial. The last day of the trial. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. I don't even know what the next stream is. Next stream is, uh, something. What is the next stream? Next stream is what? Is it Batman? Nightwing? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, so the next stream will be starting at 8.45, and it's the Nightwing stream. Cool beans. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, remember, 40 likes is required for the next stream. You guys are at 30 likes. So you can easily do that, and uh, I will catch you guys after a little break of cheesecake. Because, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We had fun. We hope you did, too. 1,000 views for the next episode. Thank you for the super chat, and thank you, everyone, for the likes. And, yeah, if you guys can rewatch the video tomorrow, that will help out tremendously. Today, before tomorrow. Oh, try to watch it. I mean, please watch it tonight again. Yeah. So it'll get views for tomorrow. We need a thousand views before noon tomorrow, so I know to set up the next stream. All right? And I will be doing a morning stream tomorrow, so. Yeah. Thanks for the super chats, and thanks for all the members and subscribers, Twitch members, YouTube members, and patrons of the chat. See you guys in 15 minutes. All right, guys. See you around 845 with your next stream. God bless. Happy gaming.